What's up my friends? It's Edward Tomaloso, your Honda man. Today I'm going to do an overview and comparison of the 2014 and 2015 Honda CRV. It has just been refreshed for the 2015 model, so I'm going to go over a few of the changes as well as take the vehicle for a test drive. The model we will be looking at today is the 2015 Honda CRV EX model. So it is one trim above the most standard, but it is very loaded with a lot of premium features. Starting on the exterior, just the styling of the vehicle, a majority of the refresh was done in the front, the wheels, and in the back. So starting on the front, I did pull up a 2014 model. This one on the 14 is an EXL model. So when you're looking at both of them, you will notice the redesigned front fascia. You do have the same kind of uh, amount of chrome, actually a little bit more on the 2015, but it's totally redesigned in the front. You have more of the boxy fog lights compared to the 2014, and they are wrapped with your chrome as opposed to the 2014, which didn't have that. The underneath, you have the skid plate. It's more of a brushed chrome look. On the 2014, you did not have that. Moving up a little bit, you have again, some more chrome. You have a piano black finish, as well as a honeycomb grill. On the 2014, you will not have the honeycomb grill. You'll have the three bars on the, uh, on the grill there. The front end, when you're looking at the headlights, you do have LEDs that wrap around the headlight, giving it a really premium look as well. On the 2014, it was a little bit more smoothed out. Another thing you'll notice is the headlights themselves. They have a more squared off look to them. They extend out and they have that angle right there. Get a better look at it. On the 2014, it did not have that. The wheels have changed a bit as well. New styling really shows off that it is a 2015 uh, versus the 2014s. That's one of the things you'll immediately notice when you are walking up to the vehicle. If you look at the side profile, it is very, very similar. They haven't changed the profile at all. Going around to the back, you will notice a bolder chrome trim on the back. We'll look over to the EX over there of the previous model, the 2014. Same color, it does not have that chrome. Another difference on the 2015 model is the reflector. It has been moved up from the bumper to the rear quarter panel, as you can see, compared to the previous generation or the previous style, it, the reflector was on the bumper right over there. You don't lose any of the functionality the CRV has at all. You just have some additional features. On the interior, you will notice you still have your fold down seats at the pull of the lever. You have the pull straps in the front too if you wanted to do that on the other side. So all of that stayed the same. I'll go into the performance in a little bit as well as the test drive. So for 2015, they changed up the center console. To give you an appreciation of it, let's take one more look at the 2014 model. So this is the center console of the 2014 model. You do have armrests here, as well as this big cubby hole. And then your cup holders are in the front. You have your heated seat controls right there as well. So going back again to the 2000. 15 model. They raised it up 
giving you the capacity to have rear vents and this comes on all trim levels LX all the way up to the Touring model. The Touring model is newer, uh, the newest in the lineup of CRVs. This is your new armrest right here. Unveils your HDMI inputs as well as USB inputs as well as a power outlet there. Here's your new center console with uh, customizable cup holders. You can flip them around, you can pull them out, turn it around. If you have multiple cups or bigger cups, you can definitely uh, store them. Here's the new interior. Whole lot of great features in this vehicle. Uh, the newest thing you'll notice immediately would be your capacitive touchscreen. Great thing about this as well is you do have real physical buttons that will allow you to navigate. It's pretty much set up like an Android system where you do have your back button, you have your home button as well. Uh, here's your volume control. It's no longer a knob. Here's your brightness control. Uh, if you still listen to CDs, you have that capa uh, capacity as well. Just folds out, you can put your CD in there. Okay. Moving right down, you do have the engine start. You do have the smart key entry as well. Just go ahead and touch the inside of the door handle and you will be able to uh, open the vehicle just like the Civics now. Uh, the interior, it's a different type of material. It does go throughout the, uh, the side here. You do have soft plastic materials on the front as well. And big for 2015 is you do have your heated seats. In the driver's seat, you will notice new materials here. Carries out a glossy silver there. The 2015 Honda CRV now comes with Lane Watch. So as soon as you uh, turn on your turn signal or push this button here, the side view camera will display what is on your right side. So it pretty much eliminates the, uh, the blind spot. Still have your backup camera, still with the three views. You have the wide angle, normal view, as well as top down view. So you can really get into uh, tighter spaces. Before I go on the test drive, let me show you the under the hood. The vehicle still has 185 horsepower, but I'll go into more detail on the performance. There's your IV Tech Earth Dreams engine. That Earth Dreams badge basically goes over the commitment of Honda to reduce emissions by 30% by the year 2020. Another feature you will notice with the 2015 Honda CRV is power seats. That now comes on the EX model and above with the lumbar support. One really exciting thing about the 2015 Honda CRV is it now gets you improved fuel efficiency and Honda did that with its continuously variable transmission paired with the 185 horsepower engine. So the fuel efficiency improved quite a bit. On the 2014 model you would get on the highway you would get 31 miles per gallon and then in the city you would get 23. In this new 2015 Honda CRV you get 34 miles per gallon on the highway, which is a three mile per gallon increase. And in the city, they were able to increase the fuel efficiency by a whopping four miles per gallon. In terms of the feel of the Honda CRV now with the new CVT, I would be able to gauge it because I drive myself, I drive a 2013 model. This one does feel a bit more responsive. It is pretty fun to drive. It's exactly what you would expect from a Honda CVT. If you've driven a CVT from other makes and models, uh, you might have a different idea of how a CVT works uh, and, and feels. I would highly suggest if you haven't driven a Honda with the CVT, definitely give it a shot. The steering is the same as well. It is the drive-by wire system that Honda uh, put into their vehicles very easy to control. It feels really similar to my vehicle that I drive on a daily basis, but it does definitely feel 
more responsive in terms of the gas pedal. There is no lag between when you step on it and when the power is delivered. I'm really digging this center armrest. It is adjustable so you can slide it forward and back and it just gives you that much extra support. The technology on the 2015 Honda CRV is really cool. You do have all of the functions and features that come on the 2014 Honda Civic EX and above in terms of this touchscreen. You will get your phone capabilities, you will have the HDMI cable so you could get that navigation app so now you don't have to go with an EXL to get your navigation which is really neat. Uh, you also have Honda Link Connect which was that navigation uh, aspect I was talking about earlier. You will also have your touchscreen audio, all, these in, all the info on your current drive, plenty of cool things as well as that lane watch system that I mentioned earlier. That's what it looks like when you're actually driving. On the low end, the CVT is definitely, definitely responsive. You barely have to put your foot on the gas and it'll really um, give you, put down that torque. It gives you just the right amount of uh, power. One thing I really like about all the CRVs uh, that they did put in in 2012, this one still has it. It is the hill start assist. I am on a little hill right now. Normally when you are driving and you're on a hill, as soon as you take your foot off the brake, you end up sliding back a little bit. What Honda designed is they put in a system where it'll hold the brake for a half second longer so you have that time to not slide back. You get to go from a stop to a go instead of rolling back a little bit. See, there it goes. Let's see what the acceleration is like on the new CVT. Wow. Definitely puts out just the right amount of power. That was zero to 60. Felt really, really good. When it comes to the layout of the dash of the CRV, I've always been a fan. It is tiered to a way where anytime you want to look at your display, you really don't have to take your eyes off the road. So when you want to look over and maybe change the station or uh, see who's calling, you just have to look up at a glance. That specifically, I, I really like when I'm on a long trip and I have my trip computer up on the IMID, I like how I can see how well I'm performing in terms of fuel efficiency. But overall, just the layout of it looks really clean and it really has a premium look to it. Overall, I am a big, big fan of the changes they made in the 2015 Honda CRV. With all the new features, with the redesign in the front, Honda definitely put a lot of thought into keeping the Honda CRV as one of the best selling uh, smaller SUVs uh, in its segment. I'm just really excited about this car now. I always have, I drive one myself, but I'm just that much more excited about it. So this concludes my overview and test drive of the changes from 2014 to 2015 in the Honda CRV. I hope this helps you, especially if you are in the market to purchase uh, a new CRV. I hope this makes your decision a lot easier. I definitely like this vehicle. I am a big fan of the utility of it, the technology, the efficiency, all the way around how it performs. This is my one of my favorite cars that Honda makes for sure. And it's no wonder it's such a great seller. But I appreciate you uh, sticking in and watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and if you want to reach us here at Honda of Santa Maria, you can reach us at 805-922-4600. We'd be happy to answer any questions uh, you may have.
If you are on the Central Coast, definitely come and pay us a visit and take one of our cars for a test drive.